Hey cooks, this is a video series we've all been waiting for. We're going to do a stand mixer palooza. This is my ultimate stand mixer showcase part one, where we are going to look all together at the mixers that I have that are under $200. We have tested some of these mixers in our standard stand mixer tests. And now we are going to take a look at these all together. These are the popularly priced stand mixers under $200. And we have them all right here together. So join me for part one of our stand mixer palooza. <music> So we're kicking off our mix of Palooza with the ACOG stand mixer. So we did a review of this and what I found kind of remarkable about this mixer is it has these double dough hooks and it did a really great job on the dough. It did a fantastic job um, for its price, uh, price category. So this is a 500 watt mixer. It's five quarts. Um, I'm not sure about all the colors that it comes in. I've only ever seen it in black. It is made out of plastic. It has suction cups on the bottom. It does not have a hub. It comes with your standard dough hook, paddle, and um, whip. And it has a pouring shield with it. My little spinner here is a little squeaky. <laughs> um, this stand mixer is, um, once again, it's five quart, 500 watts, and it has this unique double dough hook system that I thought was really cool. Um, handle on the bowl and um, pouring shield. This mixer is $99. So next up, we have the Bosch Compact. This is a very interesting mixer to me. Um, we did a full test and review, and this mixer performed amazing for the price and for the size. So here in the US, this is the MUM4405. They sell this a lot in the UK and other countries and it is sold under different model numbers. So it'll be slightly different if you, um, if you aren't in the US. Um, this little mixer is four quarts. It's 400 watts. It has a very unique way of mixing. The, the mixing action is sort of like, it's planetary, but it sort of twists around in the bowl. It's kind of interesting, like... It's tilted. Yeah, it's like tilted. And it has, um, it is a tilt head. It comes with the pouring shield. The tilt head also moves in different positions and there's a lot of different attachments. There's a blender. There's a, a juicer. There is a food processor. There's all the kinds of things that you think that go along with a major player in the mixer market. This has it, and it's in a very compact size, and it does a fantastic job. Um, this, my first reaction is this needs to go up in with the video with the big players. But the price range puts it down here in the sub $200 price range because this goes for $160, um, and you can't beat the price on that. Um, so even though I think this is a small version of a big mixer that may not necessarily compete with the big guys in the line, but I think the quality is up there with the big guys, but it is in a budget-friendly price range. So this is the Bosch Compact MUM4405. It's 400 watts. Uh, four quart mixer, and um, it's very unique. So this is a Cheftronic 4.2 quart mixer. 
Um, this is a little guy. So if you're looking for something really small, really lightweight to do simple jobs, you might want to take a look at this. It is 350 watts. It is the SM-985. It is a tilt head mixer. Comes with the dough hook, the paddle, and your whip, your whisk. And it does not have a um, hub on it. So this is a basic simple mixer, 4.2 quarts with 350 watts. This is about, this is $89 and it comes in this red color as well as a silver. So this is a Cheftronic. It's a 5.5 quart stand mixer. It is 650 watts. This is the SM-986. Um, this is a larger mixer than the one we saw um, previously. This mixer comes with a handle on the bowl as well as a pouring shield. It comes standard with the dough hook, the paddle, the whisk, as well as a um, scraper paddle comes with this mixer as well. It comes in, I've seen it in um, obviously silver. I actually have another one in red. And I don't know if it comes in black or not, but I've seen it mostly in silver and red. Um, so this is a 5.5 quart 650 watts and this one goes for 139. So this is the Cheftronic multifunction mixer. This is a 5.5 quart mixer with 650 watts. And as you can see, this mixer comes with a lot of attachments. So it is a tilt head mixer. It comes with your whisk, your dough hook, and your paddle, as well as a scraper paddle. It also comes with a pouring shield. It has a handle on the bowl. As you can see, it has two additional hubs on it. The hub on the front is good for the meat grinder, as well as the pasta maker. The hub on the back is for the blender. So that blender comes off and there's a piece that comes, you put on there if you're not using the blender. Um, this is a very multifunction uh, mixer. You get a lot of stuff for the price. So it's a 5.5 quart, 650 watts. This is the SM-1086. And this mixer here goes for $189. It comes in this red color and it also comes in a silver. I actually have a silver one as well, um, but it comes in silver. Not sure if it's ever been brought out in other colors, um, but I do know it comes in the red, the silver, and possibly maybe a, a black and a maroon, but don't quote me on that. So this is a Cheftronic multifunction mixer. So this is a Cheftronic heating stand mixer and it is also a multi-function stand mixer it is 7.4 quarts it is 1000 watts this is the sm 1088 and as you can see it is a multi-function mixer so it has the meat grinder that goes on the front i didn't put it on there just because it's really tall. Um, it has the blender that goes on the top as well. It is a tilt head. It also has a really interesting function in it because it has a heater in it. So this mixer you could temper chocolate in. You could do all kinds of fun stuff in. 
I have not used that function on this mixer yet. I have used it as just a regular mixer. It's a big mixer. It's a 7.4 quart mixer. I haven't used the heating function on it. So I can't really comment on this. I haven't done a full test and review of this mixer. Um, I will just the basic um, test and review that we do usually with mixers. Um, this mixer is, like I said, it's 1000 watts. It's multifunction, so it has the blender, it has the meat grinder, it comes with the pasta attachments as well. Um, it comes with the pouring shield, and it comes with like a secondary shield that closes all that in because of the heating function. Um, yeah, that's kind of interesting. The heating function is always kind of interesting. I haven't used the heating function yet on the Kenwood, um, but this certainly is a lot less expensive than that. This comes in a red and it comes in this silver. This one is right at the 200 mark. At some point, you might be able to see it on sale for right at 200. Right this very second, it's sitting at 219, but I'm putting it right at the 200 mark because um, depending on sales, you might, I don't know. I've seen it at, um, the I think the 199 price range, I'm not sure, but if it's not, it's just barely over 200. Um, yeah, really interesting mixer. There's a lot to this mixer in that price range, just the size and the wattage alone. Um, not, not even talking about all the other features, but just as the basic mixer. This is a huge mixer at this price point. So this is a 7.4 quart mixer and it's 1,000 watts. Scrappy Dale, scrap, Scrappy Dale, little, Scrappy Dale. The little, the little mixer that could. So this is the Farber Wear Stand Mixer and I affectionately call this mixer Scrappy Do. Um, this mixer completely surprised me because when I pulled this baby out of the box, I was like, this has got to be one of the ugliest mixers I've ever seen. Mainly because of the shape on it. It's squatty and flat on the top. I mean, and of course, I probably picked maybe the worst color to get in because it's not like a real pink. It's more like a Pepto pink. Pepto bismol. Pepto pink. And you only paid 50 bucks for it. I paid 50 bucks for this mixer. This mixer is generally about 100, I believe. I got it on a Black Friday sale. Um, it is 4.7 quarts. It's 600 watts. And little scrap surprised me. Um, this has been like... This is like one of my number one picks nowadays under $200. Um, Scrappy does have a hub and they've brought out some attachments to this and we tried out the sh uh, shredder slicer and I know they have a meat grinder. The shredder slicer did just as well as the big brand, if you know what I mean, um, the KitchenAid. Um, this, <laughs> this mixer is something else. It is a metal mixer. And um, a friend of yours tore one apart and said it's metal on the inside. Yeah, someone tore it apart and said it's metal on the inside. So I don't know there if they made a little bit of changes to this mixer because mine the new one has um suction cups on the bottom and mine doesn't so i don't know if that's just something added that they've done since i got this one but i got this when really they first sort of came out and um, i got a great deal on it a black friday special um, so watch for it during christmas time and see if you can find one at a discount I can say that it's not 
for me personally, it's not a super attractive mixer only because I think this flatness is really weird looking on it, but it does the job. It will get the job done, let me tell you, on a single batch. So um, this is the Farberware stand mixer. It's 4.7 quarts and it's 600 watts. This mixer comes in this pink. I've seen it in red, blue, and I've seen it in silver. So this is the Hamilton Beach mixer. Hamilton Beach has several different models of mixer out on the market. Um, this one came out maybe a year or two ago. And what's interesting about it, it is, has this handle at the top that makes it kind of easy to move it around. It is made out of plastic, but it is a hard plastic. I have not done a review on this mixer yet. Um, it is a 300 watt mixer with four quarts. It comes with your standard attachments as well as a pouring shield. It is a tilt head mixer. This is not the Hamilton Beach that we tested in the Ultimate Stand Mixer Challenge on the budget-friendly uh, mixers. That was a different model. Um, this one came out later. That one was the older model. So this is the Hamilton Beach 4-quart mixer, uh, 300 watts. So it comes in this silver color, a red, blue and black and it sells for right around 89 to 99 dollars so this is the hamilton beach um, stand mixer a lot of people refer to this as the 63390 when we did our budget friendly ultimate stand mixer challenge we had the winner was a hamilton beach stand mixer i actually don't have that mixer anymore I gave it to somebody, but this is like, I don't know if it's necessarily the upgraded model to that one because they still make that one. Um, this one just came out after that model and it has pretty much the similar specs as all the other Hamilton Beach stand mixers. It is a four quart with 300 watts um, a lot of their stand mixers have that same um, same uh, specs. They're just kind of shaped differently. Um, they just have different styling to them. I, I can't, I just don't know. I don't understand, really understand their models. So this is the 63390. It's four quarts, 300 watts. All I've ever seen this is in black. Um, this mixer is about $99. Eric pointed out that it doesn't come with the handle like the other one does. But um, <laughs> I don't know. It, I don't really get their models. So they do have similar specifications across a lot of their mixers they just their models have just different styling so this is a lychee stand mixer it's a multi-function mixer as you can see um, <laughs> it's 5.5 quarts it's 650 watts it comes in silver and this red color so this mixer obviously is a tilt head it has a handle on the bowl, which is really nice. It is multifunction. So as you see, it has a blender attachment up here. The blender does come off. So it does come off and it has a cap on there. And it also has a cap that goes on the front um, for where the meat grinder is. So it has the blender and a meat grinder. This meat grinder also has um dies actually the dies in there right now for lasagna um so you can grind your meat as well as make pasta in this mixer um there's a lot to this mixer it is a 5.5 quart mixer and it's 600 watts
So this mixer is $189. So this stand mixer is the Murin King. It's five quarts, 650 watt tilt head. I have not done a full test and review of this mixer. Unfortunately, I don't think this is available. I'm not sure. Currently on Amazon, it is showing that it's not available. <laughs> My turntable's a little on the squeaky side. Um, <laughs> it comes with your standard attachments, and it does have a hub up front, and at one time there was a meat grinder and a slicer that went with this mixer you could get. I don't know if they had a package where you could get that with it or you had to buy that separately. Um, this mixer goes for right at $199. So it's right on the edge of our $200 um, price point. So this is the Murin King 5 quart 650 watts. So this is the Shamrock Professional Mixer. It's a tilt head mixer. It is 6 quart 700 watts. And it comes with the standard attachments, the paddle, the dough hook, and the whip. It also comes with a splash guard, and it has a hub up front. I'm, I haven't seen any attachments to it yet, and it, it wouldn't fit other attachments. So although it does have a hub, I don't know if there's any attachments that are available, but don't quote me on that. It's, it's possible that there is. Um, this one is white, but it comes in, I know black, a maroon color, and a silver, I believe. Um, I'm not sure of the availability of this mixer anymore. Um, the place that this came for from doesn't have it, and I'm not sure 100% if it's been discontinued, but, um, that's a possibility, or it's just on back order. So this is the Shamark six quart mixer, 700 watts tilt head. So this mixer was about 139 um, at retail. So this is the Ventray mixer. It is a 4.5 quart mixer that is 500 watts. It is a very lightweight mixer and it is made of plastic, hard plastic. This one comes in three colors. This is the beige. It also comes in red and white and it is $109. I haven't done a test and review on this mixer yet. I've only used it in one recipe um, that I made uh, just as a test, but I haven't done a full review on this mixer. So cooks, these are all the stand mixers that I currently have in the pan room that are under $200. We have quite a collection of 13 stand mixers that are under $200. And I have so much fun testing these. There's a couple in here still that I need to test and stay tuned for that. So up next, we are gonna be doing the Stand Mixer Palooza part two. This is the ultimate Stand Mixer showcase of Stand Mixers over $200. These are the granddaddy Stand Mixers of all time. And at the very end of it, I have a surprise new mixer that we're going to see. I think almost for the first time, we're gonna be testing this baby out. It's a brand new mixer on the market and um, we're gonna have a good time and you're gonna be very surprised when you see it. So stay tuned. Part two is coming up. Stand mixers over $200. And this is for my all my mixer freaks out there. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe below and hit that bell to get notifications of our uploads. 
Also, you can see me on social media. I'm at facebook.com slash group slash Amy Learns to Cook. You can come on there and chat about stand mixers. We have a great time in that group with recipes and gadgets and mixers and food processors and everything you can think for the kitchen we love to talk about. You can also catch me on Twitter and Pinterest at Amy Learns to Cook. You can see me at my new website, amylearnstocook.com. And you can also see me on Instagram at Cooking with Amy.